people welcome back to yard and abroad tv please remember to hit the subscribe button turn on post notification like comment share and subscribe as i said if you're not familiar with this channel we talk about issues in jamaica the caribbean and the whole world people Wag one viewers and subscribers welcome back to my channel once again people much love and appreciation so people news coming out of jamaica is that a six month old was shot in the head yes you heard that correctly people a six month old baby was shot in the head crazy craziness are going on in jamaica i don't know what is going on but how can you shoot a little baby newborn at that you see me people six months old you know crazy crazy stuff me not gonna lie so people he goes on to say i'm getting this from the jamaica gleaner people where he say always weary of living in penetrable board houses doing upsurges in gun violence sherry Barr and her infant child had sought refuge away from their sunlight street kingston 13 home that is in the cross hairs of gang violence bar and the child only returned to their home on sunday to be close to the maxfield park health center for her six month old daughter's appointment monday morning that decision had tragic consequences bar must have thought as she rushed to the emergency room at Kingston Public Hospital moments after men with high-powered guns sprayed a house full of women in a late-night attack on Sunday. Baby Shavian Thomas was struck in the head by a bullet. Even as Barr sought to emerge from the house to seek medical attention, she had to get flat again as assailants pump more rounds into the house it was three agonizingly long minutes before the gunfire subsided again she goes on to say when me under the bed me hear the shot literally lick upon the board and me hear me baby scream out when me look me see a blood a run off of her head a tearful bar told the jamaica gleaner it's sad but God have her in his hands. Me leave everything in a God hands. All vengeance, everything of him, I go take care of it. The entire onslaught lasted around 10 minutes. Bar recalled and hearing gunfire outside, grabbing her infant, her baby, and cramming under a bed. The only safe spot she could find but it wasn't safe enough. She recalls having always feared the fragility of board homes because of the volatility and stocks communities along Maxfield Avenue and the deadly firepower wielded by gangsters. The gunmen reportedly cornered three homes strategically as they unleashed terror in the pitch blackness of night on Sunday. The blood-soaked house was a poignant reminder of the trauma that unfolded with bullet holes from floor to ceiling, a pool of blood under the bed and dead pets on the veranda. Three baby rabbits dead, gunshot bust them up, head one side and body the one side, the planting them, all food demand them shoot up, an elderly resident said. The shot will lit the roof is a rifle shot because the entire house shake. Oh my God. Barr said she believes the attack was targeted. Clearly war is going on in the community, but it looks like they deliberately came tonight to fire shot in the house. And are mostly women in the house. Me and my baby, my mother and sister. So I don't know why they would have fire shot in the house. Just so she said. The young mother is praying that Shavion recovers from the gunshot wound. I know God gonna pull through my baby for me, said Barr, who lost her first child in 2020. Sunlight Street, 
has had sporadic gunfire and killings in recent months since the collapse of a truce broken by rival factions. The Kingston West Police say investigations into Sunday's attack are ongoing. Up to July 7, the West Kingston Police Division had seen a 17% increase in murders year to date from 53 to 62. There has also been an uptick in shooting by 32% from 50 to 66. It's crazy people, crazy, crazy. I don't know how I go on, but them no see a woman them in the house and it no matter who but if you just randomly shoot up a house or shot a six month year old in him head like yo them demons the people may I tell you I don't know what is going to become of them just pray and hope for a better Jamaica cause Jano people it's just sad on so many levels so 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 sad and I pray and hope um, the six month old pull through Praying for the family, members, friends and everybody related to this young child, people. It's just a very, very sad situation. Very, very sad. You see me, people? But once again, if I get more information, I will update you guys on this one. Alright? Much love and appreciation from Yard and Abroad TV, people. Bless up. A bloody 24-hour period across the corporate area, four murders and several shooting incidents, one of which left a seven-month-old baby girl nursing injuries sustained to the head. On Sunday, minutes after 11 p.m., gunmen sprayed three houses on Sunlight Street off Maxfield Avenue. Residents who were sleeping at the time had to take cover under their beds. During the heavy gunfire, it was discovered that a seven-month-old baby was bleeding. The mother of the child recounts the ordeal. When I hear the first shot, I jump up off the bed and I took my child off the bed and I head underneath the bed. When I head underneath the bed, I hear the shot like definitely stringing past my leg and the, the bed bottom. I heard my baby cry out and then I just see blood. I say, Mommy, my baby gets shot. And she say, I hear that the baby forget shot. And when she'll take her up and look on her, she just, she shocked, everybody shocked, man, I know what to do. At the time we were, when we were coming out to seek help, shots firing, so we have to run, go back in. The baby was taken to the hospital. They did a CT scan and the doctor said um, there wasn't any, um, what do call it, bullet inside of the head or any bad damage, but there's a little um, swelling in the head and so forth and they're treated and so but I haven't seen her because I've uh, she's got screen off because they did a COVID test and I sent 48 hours before I can see her. However residents later uncovered three rabbits were not so fortunate succumbing to injuries. It is believed the shooting stems from another fatal shooting two to three weeks ago on the Maxfield main road. The residents say a conflict is brewing among gang members in the community. Of a lot of man from all over Rose Town, Fitzgerald, Olympic, Olympic Way, Kalalubed, there's a lot of man them as and Zimbabwe. So them have them import to come in and them do them thing and then them run. If you want to go somewhere, you have to be taking taxi. Call in taxi and taxi come for you. You're free to walk anywhere at all. The injured child's mother has a message for the shooters. God, I got to deal with it now. God, I got to deal with it now. God on time. I'm a big man. Robeanne Williams for CVM Live.